Hi and welcome back to What's Cooking. Now we're gonna get Leon here to show us his expertise in the coffee making. And I'm really, really curious to see. You've got so many components going on here. I'd love to see some latte art as well. And you can explain to our guests at home, what's an espresso? You know, all the different types of coffee that you see in normal coffee shops. Okay. So it's for you to make them knowledgeable. Okay, I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> the floor is all yours. Okay, so basically what we're going to start off with is my 100% Arabica brew bomb beans. Alright. Okay, it was roasted freshly today. Ah, brilliant. And you roast down in Durban, am I right? Roast in Durban, okay. And yeah, this is... It's, it's the way of the future. All right. Especially roasted coffee is the way of the future. And I see this little here. If you can explain to our show, our guests, and explain to them, what does that actually do? Okay, this is a one-way release valve. Okay, so basically when we roast our coffee, our coffee has got four days of a resting period mm -hmm. where a lot of gases are let off. So okay. what this one-way release valve allows the coffee to let, release that gas but let no oxygen in. Ah, okay, because okay. your oxygen makes your coffee stale, am oxygen I right? Oxygen makes coffee stale. Ground coffee can go stale in 45 minutes. Just and so. in the bean format, mm -hmm. if, it, if it lies out, okay, as it is, if it right. lies out for a day and a half, it all goes downhill yes. in terms of flavor. Ah, okay. okay. Flavor is what we're aiming for in mm -hmm. a shot of espresso. So when we roast fresh, okay, we look for a multi-dimensional flavor. Okay. And this is what our beans are going to give us. All right. So Chef, you're going to taste an espresso. Oh, tonight. most definitely. Okay. I'm going to top the hopper up with some beans. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a little tip for the household barista, or if you have a store, okay, it's very important to fill the bean hopper four fingers. Okay. Right, you don't want to overfill it because then it gets stale. It because it gets stale. And um, as you'll notice, this is not an airtight container. Mm -hmm. okay, so air, air is allowed in. Right. Okay. So it's, what, it's best to use it as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. What we have here today is an on demand grinder. Whack it, whack it, whack it. <laughs> okay. We have an on demand grinder. Uh huh. Okay, so that allows us to grind a fresh cup of coffee every single time. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to do a double shot of espresso. Okay. Okay. So let's just grind. You can see it's all automated, eh? All automated. How many grams actually go into a single shot of espresso? Okay, a single shot of espresso, you're looking at 10 grams at the moment. Okay. okay. And a little tip, don't be stingy on the dosage. Right. Okay, you want to get a lot of flavor into your espresso. So this year we're dosing 20 grams of coffee. Okay, yes, because yeah, it's a double lot. shot, am I right? double shot and it's a lot of coffee. Oh, you want to keep me running the entire night. I see your plan. I see your plan. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to use one of our many tricks that we have uh, available to us. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is called a temp mat. Right. This is we use to place our porta filter onto the temp mat so that you have the proper leverage when you're temping. Okay, okay. right. And then what we do is we come from a high rise to compress the coffee. Okay. It's very important that you, you stand this way, okay? Okay. Because if you stand over the portafilter, filter, you go skew. Right, yes, right. yes, yes. So we'll compress. So you're trying to get it as packed as possible as packed as and possible. as straight as possible as well. As straight as possible. Brilliant. Okay, not to forget the, the granules that run over, we just wipe that off. Okay. okay. You can see from that much of coffee, it compressed to that much. Very important. Okay. okay. Then we'll purge our group here, just to release all the old coffee that was there. And the boiling water, am and I right? Water. Because uh, I learned something in the coffee technique is that you have to let your machine run a little bit in order to get that boiling water that's sitting in there, otherwise you burn your coffee. Because right. um, it sits in that channel at the same temperature. Mm -hmm. okay. So what we're looking for here is a slight pre-infusion and then we see coffee. When we see coffee, it has to have that nice hazelnut Thick crema. Right, so I can, you can see that. See, because this is very fresh coffee, the mm -hmm. crema is very, very... It's a lot thicker. Okay? So that's what we're aiming for. And we're going to go for 30 milliliters for an espresso. Uh -huh. Okay, 30 milliliters of a, of a single espresso. We achieve that between 25 and about 28 seconds of espresso. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to so timing, it's all about timing. Timing is very important. And you okay. can actually see the complete split, okay, the crema. So basically, this is what we're looking at. A very high rise. Mm -hmm. right? You'll have bubbles on the surface, okay? Because it's such a fresh roast, the bubbles is a sign. Yeah, you show our viewers at home okay. what the bubbles look like. 
Okay, so if they went into a restaurant or even if they made it at home and they ordered a shot of espresso, they'll basically get this. They'll basically get this. Mm -hmm. However, if the coffee is not fresh or if it's pre-ground, mm -hmm. okay, you compromise your crema. All okay, right. So you get very little crema and sometimes you get it served to you and it's just this black hole on top. Exactly, That's I've seen that quite away. often. That's when you push it away. The ideal espresso is it has to have a heap of crema and you uh -huh. swirl it around. Chef, don't, don't, don't. Yeah. don't oh, put it okay, I'm swirling. I have to okay. drink it, I'm forced right. to. You swirl it around uh -huh. and as a multi-dimensional espresso, you should be able to smell it. I can smell the aroma from you here. Smell it. As soon as you smell it, you take a sip of it. He's making me drink black, uh, an espresso with no sugar. Okay, I can do this. Okay, mm. what you should get is a, a, a nice smooth flavor mm -hmm. and sparks of chocolate should come to you. To yeah, I'm actually chocolate. getting that little bit of a yeah. chocolatey type of, it, it's a weird feeling, yeah. which I'm drinking coffee, but I'm like tasting the yeah. aftertaste is chocolate. 100%. My yeah, word, it tastes, tastes phenomenal. Okay. I've shut that down, man. It's going down absolutely amazing. Oh, brilliant. Now I'm going to be awake. Perfect. You're going to see me jumping on Perfect. set now, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to move on to some cappuccinos. All right. They are traditionally known and they're getting more and more popular in our country. Yes, especially. Yeah. I know we're going to put him under a lot of pressure. He's going to do a lot of latte art for us today. 100%. That actually fell off so perfectly. Okay, so the, the sign of a good dose of coffee and a good temp, okay, you get a perfect biscuit up. Right. Okay, it's a sign that you Obviously, I can't eat today. <laughs> but the aroma from it is absolutely amazing. I only wish you guys at home could smell this. It is smelling amazing. So we're just going to grind more. Okay, we're grinding more for two single cappuccinos. And this is an automated grinder, so it grinds a specific amount for you. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay, it's timed. Okay, it's not weighted, it's timed, so it cuts off at about 22 seconds. Okay. Okay, we can get a good compress here. for the beginner okay if you are making cappuccinos and you're a beginner mm -hmm. it's always important to watch the shot of espresso all right okay make sure that it's running perfectly and then move over to your milk okay as you get better at it you'll be able to froth and extract it at the same, at the time. same time okay because i can see your milk is quite cold as well yes. i popped it out the freezer <laughs> is there a reason it was in the freezer okay you always use ice cold milk uh-huh because Ice cold milk froths a lot better and expands better. Okay. The idea that we're getting is that we have half, half a jug full of milk mm -hmm. okay, and we're going to double this up basically. Okay, so you're With incorporating a lot of air into it to get that proper exactly. froth. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to move over to our magic wand. I like that. <laughs> okay. We're going to purge it out. Okay, because the machine is very hot, we purge it because of pull this out for our, uh, Guys can see that. We'll pull it, uh, we purge it out for because of condensation. Uh huh. And then you move it away from the machine. It's very difficult to froth. Yes, 100%. Okay. And then you'll always start off in the center when you're frothing. Mm hmm. And then I turn the machine on partial power. Okay. okay because partial power, I am in control. All right. All right. Mm hmm. I don't want the motion. And I can control. see it's just, it's forming a whirlpool in there. So you're getting a whirlpool and you're hearing that, that slight that tight noise. Yeah. Once, it's very important not to overboil the milk. Mm -hmm. So the milk makes a sound like a like an aeroplane landing. When All right. you hear that sound, okay, it's coming in, it's descending. Okay. Can I can hear the noise changing, okay. yes. Once it makes that sound, you know it's done. Ah. That's when you turn it off. Okay. Now, it's very important before you do anything with your milk to wipe your steam one and right. purge once again. Okay, because you're getting all the excess milk out of it. Okay, and you know because sometimes it's like air bubbles. All right, nice. you can see that that is that okay. is wet so paint. If you look at it. Just to show our viewers what that okay. looks like, it looks phenomenal. That's wet. Paint. It's so creamy and it's milk, exactly. but it's creamy. Exactly. And then I've got this little jug handy here because before I pour, mm -hmm. okay, I've got to separate my milk up. Okay. To avoid beiging. Okay, because you'll see the technique that I use for pouring. I've got to go around a few times in the cup. 
Okay, to get to get your design. To get my design. Okay, then we'll take our cup and we swirl our crema. Okay. Okay, make sure our crema is as light as possible. But okay. does it make a difference the latte art with your fresh beans? It forms a lot more crema. It, it forms a lot more crema. Does it make a difference when you're doing the art? It makes a better a better visual uh, effect. Okay. okay. And then the trick here is to keep your jug away from the cup. Uh huh. Okay. Get that crema to the top, and then at about three quarter, we drop it to the center. We get a and you run it across. Ah, oh, that okay. is absolutely amazing. A there. Absolutely amazing. Okay, then we come is... back to our milk and we pour it back into the jug. Okay. Okay. Again, we swirl. Swirl our coffee. Okay. Tilt the cup. The tilting of the cup is very important. Okay. okay to get that color going. Okay, we will try can I can see that? Ah, that's like a yeah, swirl like and land it up into a heart, eh? Like a swirly heart. Oh, that yeah. looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Leon, I'm going to put you on a time challenge, right? I want to see how fast you can make fill up those six cups, right? You don't have to speak to me. Okay. I'm just going to observe you. Challenge. And I want our viewers at home to observe a man in his element. Go! Your time is on. Leon, absolutely amazing. This looks stunning. I won't lie. I want to actually drink all of them, but I'm not going to sleep for the next week. You probably won't. Right. I probably won't. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us and show, showing our viewers the lovely and amazing designs, the art of coffee, and you can see it is your true passion. So, thank you very much for watching us. Hopefully, we'll catch you on the next episode of What's Cooking. We'll be cooking up a storm as usual. Thank you to Leon you and the brew, bum, <laughs> the brew Bum. The Brew Bum for giving us this amazing coffee demo. Thank you very much, take care.